Hey, what is up, you guys? Coach Joey coming in. It's June 2nd, Thursday, and I wanted to come in with a message for the day for everybody. And the message that I wanted to talk about today was uh, something that I've read a little bit about in the past, and then I just kind of came across it again today. And it's a theory of what's referred to as learned helplessness. And, um, you know, in life, we get into these positions where we feel like no matter what we do, um, the efforts are going to go unrecognized and we're just going to end up in the same spot no matter what. So then we end up giving up. And I've heard a couple of different examples used, but one of the easiest examples um, when I was trying to understand it was they talked about elephants in Asia and they talked about how, you know, people gain control over uh, these animals because an elephant is obviously a large creature and it's, uh, you know, an adult elephant or a full grown elephant, it would be really hard to uh, contain them or to, to get them to succumb to things that you would want them to do. And um, like I said, for anybody who is a animal activist or anything like that, this is by no means um, trying to get into that debate. Obviously, I don't agree with the uh, ethics of, you know, caging an animal for, for reasons, you know, maybe outside of education or whatever the case may be. But anyways, what they do is they'll take an elephant as a baby um, from its mother and they'll tie a you know a very small rope or string around its leg and then they'll tie it to a tree and what ends up happening is the elephant is small at the time and it can cannot break the string it's not strong enough to break the string and it'll try maybe for a few weeks or a few days or whatever the case is and then eventually it'll just give up and what ends up happening is that the elephant thinks that no matter what it's going to do it's never going to be able to break that string or the rope so it just essentially quits trying so all through its life they can contain the elephant no matter how big it gets with the same string or the same rope that they started with and even though the elephant will grow to a size where it can easily you know break the string or actually rip whatever is holding it out of the ground it just never tries again and um you know in life this happens a lot I see it a lot in, in, in the industry that I'm involved in. So in the fitness industry, I meet a lot of people and they'll come into the gym and they're either out of shape, they're unhealthy, they're overweight, and they've been that way for years and years and years and years. And they feel like no matter what they do, um, they're going to be stuck there. So they eventually kind of get to a point where maybe they give up and just accept it for what it is or whatever the case is. Um, so in life, you don't have to accept that. Um, at any point during your life, you can make a change and you could change the course of the outcome of maybe what you feel you've been stuck in. And all you have to do is start making those consistent efforts in the direction. So like I said, with the elephant, the elephant, when it's full grown, only would have to try one time to break the rope or pull the contraption that's holding it out of the ground and it would be able to get away. Um, but because we end up in this frame of mind of what they refer to as learned helplessness, we eventually get to the point where we give up. And, you know, whether it's something like um, in your relationship, whether it's something with finances where you just kind of had a job and you're like, well, you know, I could pay my bills. They pay, you know, I make enough to get by and I have maybe a little bit of extra money to, you know, go out to dinner once a month or whatever the case is. But you kind of get in this frame of mind where you think there's no way out of it. And no matter what you do, you're just going to be stuck there. So then you just kind of accept it and you kind of give up on it. And the same thing with health. You get to a point where you're a little bit overweight. Maybe you tried something for a couple of weeks with no success. Maybe you tried another thing for a couple of weeks with no success. But I promise you, if you keep plugging away at things to kind of help you break out of that frame of mind, you'll eventually start to progress further towards your goals or, you know, get closer to where you want to be. So don't let that learned helplessness keep you in this small container or be that baby elephant at heart that's tied to the fence or tied to the tree and thinks that you can never get away from the things that are not making you happy today. All right, you guys. So Coach Joey coming in. So I think this is a very valuable message today. Think about that as you're going through your day and think about if there's some small changes that you can start to make to get you going in the direction of the life that you want to be. And don't ever feel like you're trapped, all right? No one is holding you. A lot of that stuff is all in your head. No one is keeping you in the current position that you're in. You just have to be willing to make the changes to move forward. All right, you guys, for everybody at the gym, hopefully we'll see you this afternoon. If anybody has any questions about anything, you know, come see me. Obviously, if it's fitness related or nutrition related, I'd love to sit down and talk. You guys have a wonderful day.